Now, a regular question that we get is what medications should be used for quarantine. Now, if there is a known problem with a fish that you may be getting or a supplier that you may be getting fish from, then you may wish to treat that known problem. It could be a fluke problem. It could be a parasite problem, whatever it is. If there's an actual known issue, then by all means, precautionary medicating may be justifiable. But if you're doing a proper quarantine process and you're quarantining for a month, a month is generally plenty of time for a fish to crack out with any sorts of problem. A month is normally enough time for a fish to stabilize in order for you to be confident before adding the fish to your main tank. So in a perfect world, I would not medicate unless I believed I had a reason to medicate. So I would medicate if there was a known problem with those fish, or I would medicate if I can actually see something cracking out. Because medications are essentially toxins, and if we can go through a quarantine period without medication, then that's an extra stress that the fish don't have to get over. The immune system of the fish is more likely to hit its peak quickly if no toxins are actually added. Don't forget that there are other things that you can do. For example, with saltwater fish, you can run slower salinities. With freshwater fish, you can run higher salinities. Um, making sure you're feeding very high quality foods and also looking to immune system boosters like Google and ensuring that good water quality and diet is addressed and then medicating should very well be unnecessary. Anyway, put your experience on the bottom of this video. Um, when have you chose to medicate? When have you chosen not to medicate? And what's your view? Don't forget to subscribe.